What is up, everybody? It's Viva L of Rock 13, and I am on a small impromptu family vacation here post Thanksgiving. It is December 6th. I wanted to hop on here real quick and upload my first video here for you guys. It is very amateur. I am so new to this. I do not know how to edit or anything. I just did it real fast on my phone, but I didn't want to delay it anymore. I wanted to go ahead and put it out there here for you guys, uh, especially because I've been getting a little bit of a following on TikTok. So I wanted to make sure, you know, I could go ahead and uh, get you guys some videos of what I've been opening here recently. So I put the ultra premium sword and shield up right now is what I'm doing on my YouTube. So make sure to check it out make sure to like it, follow, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll put my link tree in the YouTube description as well in the bio so that you guys can go and uh, follow me on those other platforms. I do have a key phrase here in the in a certain section of the video. I'm not going to tell you where. Um, so if you do find it, make sure to comment um, the key phrase or the key word so that we can go ahead and hopefully do some fun giveaways there for you guys. So make sure to check out the video. Make sure to check and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And I uh, hope you guys like it. All right, guys. So here we are. The Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Box. Now, I was incredibly lucky to find this box. I actually found two of them hidden away in a corner at a local Target. They weren't, I mean, they were with everything else that was there, but they were actually just off to the side, not displayed, um, I guess you could say, out in the open with the rest of the stuff. Sorry about that glare there. I'm still trying to figure out the whole lighting system here. So let's go ahead and open it up. Like I was saying, I, I did find both um, my two boxes that I have at Target kind of hidden away in the corner. And I actually found them and used a 75, uh, or not a 75, excuse me, a 25% off coupon that, that I had for toys. So I was actually able to get each one of my boxes for only $75. Um, I was greedy with this one. I did go ahead and buy the two, especially because I found them a couple of days before it was supposed to actually be released. So I did get greedy. I did buy both of them, um, but I'm super excited. One of them I wanted to open on here uh, for you guys. The other one I did want to go ahead and just keep in a, in a sealed collection. There. Now you'll see me be really slow with this opening. The reason for that is because I actually really wanted to to take it all in and enjoy it. I've never bought an ultra premium collection before. I know there's the Hidden Fates and I believe there was a, a couple other ones, I believe for like the 20 year anniversary, but this is my first one. So this is uh, definitely something that as a collector, I, I wanted to really enjoy the experience and, and document it here for everybody to enjoy who may not have been uh, as lucky to find a box. Um, I was having a little bit of difficulty here trying to figure out which way it goes. It's a really nice box. It's got a beautiful texture. It's definitely going to be kept for me to store some additional cards in it going forward. Um, like I said, it's it's a beautiful finish, beautiful texture. The artwork, I mean, it's just super nice to look at. All the gold and the, and the black there with, of course, the two featured legendaries from Sword and Shield, which is Zazian and Zamazenta. Now, I hear a lot of people pronouncing this differently. I'm not quite sure. So um, leave a comment how you ever you think that it's pronounced there. Uh, so, of course, you're going to get your trading card booklet that contains all the information about the game. Um, directly here underneath. Let's take a look at the booklet real quick. It's got, of course, once again, Zazian and Zamazenta on the artwork. And then you also have here... Let's take a look. This is going to be the book that actually has the series player's guide. So it's got all the different cards, I believe, that you can go ahead and uh, and collect from these sets, including, of course, the, the gold uh, Zazian and Zamazenta card, along with some other cards from the series. It does, of course, also have the code card. I may include that here at the end of the video for one of you guys to go ahead and use. I believe it might have just the gold Zazian and Zamazenta. So the Zazian pullout doesn't actually, or the Zazian door doesn't actually pull out, but here you can actually see the gold Zazian V card, which I just absolutely love it. I haven't pulled it out of its packaging yet. 
I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and get this graded, but I don't know if I should leave it in the package and send it to PSA that way because I've never sent a card over to PSA. Then you have your Zazian sleeves, which I'm super excited to, to start using there. And then you start to get into the packs, starting off with the four packs of Sword and Shield. And here we actually find the gold coin. It's a little difficult to get it in focus just because of the artwork and the brightness from my light. But it's a nice, beautiful, hefty, hefty coin. Like it's, you can feel that it's not just like cheaply made or plastic like the other coins. It's some type of metal. So you got the four Sword and Shield packs. You also have, um, let's see, let's get in here, some card dividers. Like I was mentioning, it's going to be a great box to maybe store the whole Sword and Shield set. So I may end up using it for that. And then we're just going to put this here and back into the box and save that for later. Don't forget the coin. Pop that back in. This middle drawer here is going to have more packs. So overall, this does come with 16 packs overall, which I think is awesome. There's some more card dividers there. You get your Darkness Ablaze, which is Rebel Clash, which I don't know why everybody hates on Rebel Clash so much. I actually really enjoy opening that set. Probably even more than Champion's Path. You got your markers there for Poison pokemon and i don't know i don't play the game so i'm not too familiar with what the other marker is there go ahead and let me know your your dice and that is really nice as well really nice and hefty made of metal as well got some more dice here for the game so we'll push that back in there oh, and slip that back in and get here into zamazenta this will be the last portion of the box here. So let's pull this out. And in here, you're going to find the other gold version of the card. The promos here, which is the Zamazenta V gold card, which I believe is actually going to be included in the new Shining Fates, along with Zazian, Eternatus, and Eternatus V Max as the gold cards in that set. Or at least that's what's in the Japanese set right now. Here's the uh, Zamazenta coin as I try to focus on there. And then you're going to get your Zamazenta sleeves, as you'll see here. And finally, other than the more card dividers that you're going to get in there, you're going to get your four packs of Vivid Voltage. So as I mentioned, it does come with 16 packs overall. You have your four base sword and shield. You have your B, uh, your rebel clash, four rebel clash, four darkness ablaze, and four vivid voltage. Some more card dividers, and let's put that back in there. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to head over back to my little desk where I normally open the cards, and we're going to dip right into these packs. Oops, I almost forgot to put that coin in, so we're going to slip in that coin right in there, and we're good. So once again, guys, this is the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection Box. It's retailing, supposed to retail for $99 or $100 even, and let's go open those packs. All right, let's go ahead and get into these packs. Now, I will advise you guys, I'm a little all over the place with this. Just because of the fact I was trying to do more than one thing at the same time. So I actually was trying to record some TikTok videos and do this at the same time here. Record the YouTube video here uh, for you guys. Now I am an amateur. This is my first YouTube video. So cut me some slack here. Give me some support. Make sure to like that button. Make sure to comment, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff so I can go ahead and keep giving back to you guys. I do a lot of giveaways on my TikTok when I go on live. I'll be doing some contests here along uh, the channel as well as I go ahead and produce some videos. So make sure you go ahead and stay tuned so that I can go ahead and uh, hopefully be able to give back to, to everybody here that supports the channel, especially right now that it's in the beginning stages. So we're going to go through the pack cards real quick here. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just be all over the place real quick. Here's the Darkness of Blaze packs. We got a Charizard. Artwork, Eternatus artwork, which is my second favorite. Charizard, of course, is my favorite. Grimmsnarl, 
and then we should have one more which is going to be the uh Santa scorch artwork here and then let's take a look real quick at the other packs here they are gonna look at the vivid voltage ones here we go so the vivid voltage you got your fat pikachu which i absolutely love you got the new i believe it's a mythical pokemon zarude two zarudes going here wish we had one of each but we only got two i think orbital is the other one and finally celebi so one of the things that i like to do is organize them from my favorite to least favorite so make sure to leave a comment with which one is your favorite artwork of each of these sets so we're going to set these down and like i said i always organize them from, depending on which is my favorite artwork so we're just going to grab the sword and shield here break right into that really like lapras so snorlax is pretty cool we actually got one of each here so that's pretty cool so we're gonna put this in order and we're gonna start with lapras let's start with lapras lapras is a good one to start with here let's dip right into this pack see what we can pull all right let's see here and green code card of course always nice to start off with a green code card so no one ever Feel free to go ahead and play the guest the energy game here with me. And here we are, Fighting Energy. Galarian Linoon Trainer Card. Bisharp, or Bisharp. Oh my goodness, these names just keep getting harder. Blipbug. Rhyhorn, that one's easy, that's a base Pokemon. Mincino. Chinchow. Wooloo Reverse Hollow, and for the rear, we got Cramorant Non Hollow. Let's go ahead here and dip into that second pack as I bump my little display here. You got the Snorlax art pack or artwork on this pack. And like I said, guys, make sure to stay tuned because I'll be doing a lot of giveaways. Love to give back to the community. Darn it, another green code card. Goodness gracious. I love to give back to you guys. Of course, I think we all love Lee and Hart. We all, you know, grow and, and learn from the way that he does things. So we really want to take after him and give back to you guys. So make sure to stay tuned. Make sure to like, follow, comment, subscribe, and do all those things. Maybe I'll even leave a, a, a keyword or phrase here on the remainder of the video so that if you are able to uh, stick around and, and give us that key phrase... I will go ahead and uh, send you something if you're comfortable with providing your address. For the reverse holo, we got that Rillaboom, which is fantastic. non holo rare, you got Durant. Little Mr. Kevin Durant. And here we are. Zamazenta. Let's see what we can pull here. Hopefully we can break that white... I'm sorry, green code card curse. What do you guys think? Let's take a look. And, of course, another green code card. Now, here's the thing, guys. I actually have seen a lot of these openings for these boxes. And I have not seen a lot of good pulls. So, I actually am not expecting to find a lot in this box. I was really more just doing it for the collector's sake of it. It does have quite a few packs, so that is quite fun. And then, of course, you get your gold card promos. So that, in itself, I feel like makes it very, very worth it for your collection. Got another blip bug there and a Sizzlipede. And finally, Cloyster non Hollow Rare. Last Sword and Shield pack here. Let's break this one open. Let's see if we can get at least one hit out of that Sword and Shield base set. And... Here we go. Of course, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and do that card trick. And here we are. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing the card trick for every every video. I think I want to start opening them up just the way that it comes uh, so that we can go ahead and give everybody the experience of what the actual Pokemon pack looks like and feels like and what it's like to to open it, the positioning of the cards and everything. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer doing the card trick or no card trick? Poke gear, and there we go. Professor's Research 
Rainbow. I believe this is, I forget the names. There's just too many different types of names. So we're just gonna go ahead and take uh, Professor's research here. Sleeve her right up. I have so many of these hollows that it's super nice to finally get that uh, rainbow card. And we're using our Champion's Path Late Trainer box sleeves there. We're just gonna put her to the side. Some little Professor Magnolia. All right, let's get into Rebel Clash. So we've got the Cinderace, Inteleon, Toxtricity, and Rillaboom. So let's put these in order of favorites. We're going to start with Toxtricity, because Toxtricity is my least favorite of the set, or of these artworks. I'm going to bust that open here. I'm not sure what I was... Uh, doing they're probably talking to somebody on tiktok or on live make sure you follow me on tiktok as well guys i will probably link the username either in a link tree because i got a notification that i was supposed to change it uh just because apparently tiktok rules are changing so my username the way that it was formatted will no longer be valid psychic energy for this one this is the toxicity pack dublade hair across Got the Capacious Bucket, Vulpix, Milsery, we're going to go with that, Galarian Farfetched, Galarian Meowth, back-to-back -back Galarians, Caterpie, Lombre, and Non-Hollow Rare Whiskash. Boo. Let's try to see if we can top that Professor's Research card. Intellion artwork. I like Intellion. I actually like, well, I like Sobble. Not quite sure. Um, if I necessarily like Inteleon all that much, and I think there could have been a lot more done with its VMAX form, for sure. I have to say, ooh, there we go, white code card. Um, probably, uh, oh my goodness, I can't believe the name is escaping me here. Score Bunny, there we go. Score Bunny is probably my starter for Sword and Shield, my favorite one. We got a Hatrim, Carcoal. Drippy, Magmar, Galarian Yamask, Surskit, Stuffle, Burning Scarf, and Eldegoss V. Oh my goodness, I have way too many of these, so yikes. All right, not a problem, though. Come on, Rillaboom. Rillaboom's going to bring the magic here. I do like, I think Rillaboom is my favorite art for the final evolution. But Score Bunny for sure. They're all very adorable, but I think Score Bunny for sure is my favorite out of the starters here. All right, green code card. Always a bummer there, but not to worry. The only place where I've seen in the recent sets that it's okay to get a green code card has been the Vivid Voltage sets. Just because of the fact that you can still get an amazing rare. In fact, all of my amazing rares that I've pulled have been from uh, green code cards. So don't lose hope. Green code cards in uh, Vivid Voltage may be good. Got the Nose Pass. Got the Wingle. Coughing. Litwick. And Barbarical Non-Hollow Rare. Cinderace is going to come through, though. Here we go. i got a feeling. Cinderace is going to bring the heat, literally. Let's go. All right, Cinderace, let's start with a white code card. And uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. White code card. Finishing off Rebel Clash strong. Let's see what we can get. I haven't opened too much Rebel Clash just because everybody keeps hating on it. So kind of stayed away from it i kind of came in late in the sword and shield game so i really started mostly with darkness ablaze so let's take a look you got the heliolus growlith drippy again snover binacle galarian darumaka shinx reverse and appleton all right <laughs> the apple pie appleton the apple pie the dragon card goodness gracious let's go into the next set here we got darkness blaze scent of scorch grim snarl turnitus and charizard with oh here let's just pick this back up here 
Uh, Scent of Scorch, of course, he's, I think he's in every single one of the sets for Sword and Shield, so I'm just really over Scent of Scorch. I liked it, don't get me wrong, I thought it was a, a decent Pokemon, I think it may have even been in my Sword and Shield team, but I'm over it. I am so over just how much Scent of Scorch has been in every single set. There we go, though. All right, well... You know what? Maybe I'm going to stop hating on it here since it did give us a white code card. Let's take a look. See what we can pull. We have Professor's Research Rainbow being the card to beat right now. And I think I just snuck a peek. The last card and I feel something good is coming. So let's take a look. Cape of Toughness. Is that a sign? Cup Chew. Okay, we got the Wimpod. Bunnelby. Toxel, Sinistee, I love that Pokemon, Militic, and here we go, Butterfree V Max, so I'm not, I'm not even mad, I'm not even mad, I like this card, it's a beautiful card, um, I just, I, I go in and pull cards and sets, I really do, like, this has got to be probably the third or fourth that I pull from uh, this set. So not hating on it, but it's hard to appreciate it when you've pulled it so many times. But we'll take it. It's better than not having anything. So Rainbow Rare, Professor's Research, still the card to beat. Let's get into Grim Snarl. Maybe if we hate on the artwork and on the packaging or on the Grim Snarl here, we'll, we'll get something good out of that one. So... Let's pop this open real quick. Come on, white code card, white code card. Fingers crossed, and there we go. That is what I'm talking about. Got the white code card. Let's do that four card trick. Pop that energy. And all right, water energy. Let's hope for something good here. Now, with Darkness Ablaze, is there really a lot of chase cards? Because I don't remember. Really, the only thing that I've been after in Darkness Ablaze has been the... Uh, Charizard V Max, Swobit, Spinarak, Suicune, Reverse Hollow, and but Butterfree V. See, this is what I'm talking about. I get cards and sets. So <laughs> I do sleeve up all my V cards, so don't mind me here as I go ahead and pop that in there real quick. You know what? We'll do that later. Let's just go to Eternatus. Let's see what Eternatus can bring us. So, uh, dragon types are my favorite type of Pokemon. So, I love Eternatus. I believe it's uh, probably... Oh, there we go. Look at that white coat card. Um, Eternatus is my favorite, I think, um, Pokemon from this series, from Sword and Shield. It's uh, very cool. I love dragons. I'm a huge sucker for dragons. Even our Apple Pie Appleton dragon card. <laughs> very happy with that pull, even though it's just a hollow rare card but yeah so how about this how about we make the contest here let's take a look what we pull first all right because i believe this was a white code card goth rita and let's see dark rye hollow okay not bad not bad so how about we do this if you're still around here if you stuck long enough to see the end of this darkness of blaze opening let's have you comment your favorite dragon pokemon favorite dragon pokemon and I will go ahead, and if I get some comments here that have their favorite dragon Pokemon, say my favorite dragon type is, um, and label your favorite Pokemon, I will go ahead and DM you and send you something here. And we'll give it through through December. It's December 6th right now, so we'll give it through the end of December. If you stuck around with me, if you saw this video, I will go ahead and send you something. If you stuck this long here with me for this Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection opening here. So green code card, we got the Panpour and Galarian Darumaka. Let's hop over to Vivid Voltage. And here's Fat Pikachu. Always looking for that Rainbow Rare Pikachu V Max. I'm gonna put Celebi in the front, followed by Zarude, and finally Pikachu. Okay, so we're going to pop Celebi open real quick. Here we go. 
and let's hope for that white code card although i did oh there we go i was about to say we don't need the white code cards in this one but i will take it any day of the week so let's go several champions path they're all white code cards there so all right so we got fighting energy let's see here galvantula swallow wash energy clobopus electric Execute, Eevee, Wubat, Stunfisk, and all right, Leon Full Art Trainer card. All right, that is what I'm talking about. We're going to sleeve that bad boy up for sure. And hopefully now all he needs is his faithful companion, Charizard, which I have not yet pulled from Vivid Voltage. I, I'm pretty sure I'm over 300 packs into Vivid Voltage, and I have not yet pulled either Leon or any form of Charizard from Vivid Voltage. So whether that be the Reverse Hollow or the Hollow, I do have a Hollow Charizard, but that's going to be from the theme deck that I was lucky enough to snag one. But let's go. We need a partner. <laughs> we need that Charizard partner card for uh, Leon. Green code card. Not to worry, though. We still have faith. We have not lost faith. Let's do that card trick real quick. It takes me a little too much time to do that card trick. So like I said, I might omit that in future videos. Got Nussleaf, Opal, B, Color Bay, Choodle, Rylu, Eevee, Seedot, Electrike, Reverse Hollow Rylu. So two cannon is our last card here. No amazing rare, but that's okay. Two more packs to go. Let's go. So we're going to pop this rude wide open. And if I can get my hands to open this up here. There we go. And let's see here. Okay, guys. Let's see. There we go. White code card. So we're going to finish strong here. Let's finish strong. We're looking for that rainbow rare Pikachu VMAX. That's the card to pull. They're nearly retailing for $300 right now. So... I would really prefer to open one up and pull one rather than buy one for my collection. So, Ferrothorn, Kerala's, Pharaoh Seed, Joltik, Sandile, Seedot, Beepeepek, Girafferig, Ah, uh, Genesect, Hollow Rare. Oh, well. All right, don't lose hope. We still got Pikachu. Let's hope for some last pack magic in the Pikachu pack. Pikachu V Max, Rainbow Rare. Let's go. Vivid Voltage, last pack from the Sword and Shield box. And uh, of course. All right, guys, green code card, but not a worry. We can still get an amazing rare from these four cards. So let's hope. Let's do the card trick real quick. One, two, three, four. Pop that in the front. Let's see if we can get something good. All right. Energy, Charmeleon, Pinkurchin, Drumbeak, Aracuda, Seedot, Fanpy, Shuppet, and Puchiana. Oh, there we go. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. So I was literally just saying I've never pulled a Charizard in this set. And we got the reverse hollow Charizard. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to sleeve him up right away, too. I'm going to sleeve him up, and look at that. We asked for Leon's Charizard, and it's got Leon in the background. I forgot about that. So Leon has his Charizard. So we'll leave that here. Let's do a recap. All right, so for the reverse hollows and the hollows, we got Girafferig, we got Genesect, Rylu, Stunfisk, Galarian Stunfisk, Darkrai Hollow, Gotharita Reverse, Militic Reverse, Suicune Reverse, Panpour Reverse, Pokegear 3.0, Sizzlipede, Rillaboom Reverse, Appleton Apple Pie Hollow, Wulu Reverse, I don't even remember that one, Shinx, Litwick, another trainer, Burning Scarf Reverse, Lombre, but don't forget, we still, of course, do have 
the full arts and the V cards that we pulled. So starting with my favorite pull probably, that of course is going to be Leon's Reverse Hollow Charizard. Absolutely awesome artwork. Great card. So definitely I think my favorite pull other than the promos in Leon. You got your Butterfree V. Too many of these. Uh, hard to appreciate, but we'll take it. Eldegoss V. Once again, too many of these, but I'll take it. Butterfree V Max, which is probably one of the better cards we pulled. But I think Leon Trainer was for sure the id card if it wasn't for, would be the id card if it wasn't for Professor's Research. So those were the pulls from the set. Overall, not as bad as I expected them to be. Like I said, a lot of openings I've seen have had no good pulls. So I will take them. We'll take one last quick look at Zazian and Zamazenta V. It's a beautiful gold promo. If you don't buy the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection box, they will have their own kind of like elite trainer box. Um, but I like this one that has both of them, and I was able to get my hands on it here uh, before the release, thankfully. Probably due to some mistakes somebody made, but I will take it. Uh, yeah, and then probably in Shiny V as well, they'll be out soon. All right, guys, if you've stuck around this long, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Make sure, once again, to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you heard that secret phrase or code, make sure you comment it below so that you can go ahead and uh, I can get you guys something as part of the giveaway through December. And then also, um, let me know what it is that you guys wanna see opened. Don't mind the hair, like I said, I am on vacation. I'm all over the place, but really interested to hear some feedback. What do you guys wanna see opened? And uh, I will do everything I can to get my hands on those sets and uh, open them up here for you. I'm gonna try for a video uh, every week here going forward. So hopefully I'll be seeing you guys soon. And uh, maybe I'll do an upload of what I just pulled here while on vacation. Look at that. I have no sleeves. I have nothing. No sleeves, no nothing. Like I said, I'm on vacation, so everything is super informal right now. But we're just having fun. It's literally a kid's game. So, uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. And see you guys soon.